exciting video for you guys. I have recently been on a very large shopping spree and I thought that I might as well share all the wonderful clothing items that I've bought with you because I think you guys would really like some of them and maybe even purchase some yourself. If you are new here, hello my name is Eleanor, I am your daily sugar fix. If you would like to join the family then please do by clicking subscribe down below. I'm trying really hard to get the channel to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of 2019. Also if you liked this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up so I know that you guys enjoy this content and I can make more like it for you. Today's snack of choice are these delicious strawberry milk flavoured caramel corn snacks. I got these in the Japan Center pop culture snack box. I will leave a link to the video on the screen up here for you guys to take a look. So now that we all have a delicious snack to enjoy, let's get on with the video. Okay, how I'm going to do this video is that I'm going to show you all of the clothes first, then move on to shoes and end with bags at the very end. I will also try my hardest to link all of these items in the description bar down below. Um, this is not an ad by the way, the links will not be affiliate links. Um, just in case you guys want to buy some of these things, it's just easier for you. So let's start with item number one. The first one is a skirt. This skirt I bought from AliExpress. It is influenced by the brand Bobon 21. Um, it's kind of like a light baby pink pleather effect skirt. It does have shorts attached underneath which is really handy. The styling points to this skirt is of course the satin lace up bows on the front. Also what I really like about this skirt is that at the back it is pleated so from front and back it looks very very cute. I actually wore this yesterday and a lady stopped me to specifically compliment me on my skirt. She thought it was adorable and so do I. Luckily this fits me quite well. Um, it's a little snug around my bottom and a little bit too big around my waist but it doesn't fall down, it stays up and yeah I think it looks so cute on. Next up we have this pink satin pencil skirt. It has a slit in the side with some frills along the bottom as well as a couple of bows. As you'll see in the try on clip, um, this doesn't fit me. It is exactly the same size as the previous skirt however it's too big for my waist and too small for around my hips and bottom. I'm really sad about this because I love this skirt so much. If it fitted me I would be wearing it all the time. I think it just sort of screams lam K fashion. I think it's so delicate, very Parisian inspired. The last skirt to my new collection is this red and white kind of picnic blanket skirt. It is a jumper skirt as you can see. The only thing I don't like about this is that you have to tie the straps up by yourself and I always feel like I haven't got them even and it's just very frustrating. The styling points of this skirt is as you can see there are tiny little daisies um, dotted around the skirt. They're kind of just randomly placed. We have a double layer of frill. We have one here and then one at the bottom with a little bit of a white lace. I do only have one new blouse and it is this white frilly lacy monstrosity right here. It is a pure white blouse with a very large collar with a lace detailing. Also it does have lace and frill on the sleeves which I think is a very cute detail. I do like this blouse however I feel like it's one of those items that looks better on the hanger than it does on. Moving on to dresses now I have this beautiful gorgeous super cute doll like dress. It is a very soft baby pink however sometimes on camera it does kind of come up as being white. We have this big white collar detailing on the front with some buttons and a little bow at the top. We also have this sort of mesh panelling that goes over the front of the dress which I think just makes it look so much more dainty. We also have a slight lace hem at the bottom which is also just another little detail that makes this dress super cute and adorable. I will say though this dress is extremely short on me. I'm not the tallest person in the world. I'm about 162 centimeters ish and I feel like I cannot wear this dress out without wearing shorts on underneath. I think it's so dainty and so delicate though and I love wearing this dress. Our next dress is by the Japanese brand Liz Lisa. I bought this one secondhand from a seller on Depop. It is a Cinderella print. I'm not entirely sure of the exact name, but if you look at the print uh, very closely, you have tiny little silhouettes of Cinderella, a clock, a glass slipper, etc. I honestly didn't even realise it was a Cinderella print. I only bought it because I thought the colours on the florals of this dress are so, so delicate. 
I also really like the square neckline on this dress and the little bows down the front along with the frill. This dress, um, I'm not completely 100% on. I did actually order a different dress which I'll put a photo of on the screen, however the seller contacted me and said that the factory that they use no longer makes that dress so would I like to choose a different one or to have my money back? I did decide to choose a different dress because I've seen this a few times on AliExpress and it did look kind of cute but I wasn't too sure about it. I eventually obviously did pick it and um, I think it's cute however the pink is slightly too much of an orangey shade for me personally. The chest section is definitely too small for me as I move around the buttons sort of pull and kind of like reveal what I've got on underneath sort of thing. I do have these shoes that I think would look really cute with this dress so maybe I'll try and put an outfit together, put it on and see how I feel. Our next dress, um, I can't really decide if I like it or not. The photo that I saw of this on AliExpress, it looked so adorable and again it was inspired by the Japanese brand Bobon21. However, there's just something about it that I'm just not sure on. Not only does it not really fit around my waist, it's too big and the elastic on the back keeps drooping down. But I feel like these shades of pink and blue just kind of clash. Obviously I am wearing pink and blue today, however I've kind of spaced that colour out and I think it looks okay. But on a pattern like this, I feel like these two colours just don't work. Also because it is a halter neck and because we have a huge heart on the sort of chest area, I feel like it looks like an apron. <laughs> However, the dress itself is really cute. It is Alice in Wonderland themed, as you can see. My favourite styling point of this dress is at the back we have a very large and random sort of lace, ruffle, puffy detail. Having this detail on the back really gives me a sort of Lolita-esque feel to the dress and I think it's so, so pretty. I'm honestly just not sure on what it is that I don't like about it. I will keep this dress for a little while longer, but if I decide I don't like it, then I will resell it. So um, if you guys are interested in buying it, then please keep an eye out. The next dress is also a pink and blue one. However, as you can see, this pink is more muted and I feel like it works better. This is definitely one of my most favorite dresses in this recent haul. It is an adorable pink and blue gingham print with little sort of teddy bears on as well. We also have frills on the neckline and on the sleeves and obviously that means everything to me. I love frills, hence the name bunny frills. The skirt is also pleated which I think is so so cute and I just love wearing this dress. I feel so pretty in it. Unfortunately it is too big for my waist so I colour matched this ribbon in my local craft store to use as a belt to put around my waist and I think it's okay for now but I think I may try and find an actual belt that may work with this dress. It's such a shame because it's so so beautiful and if it fits me properly I feel like it would be absolutely perfect. My next few items are gingham. Obviously I'm a huge fan of gingham if you didn't know that already and the first one I have is this long sleeve bright red gingham that I bought secondhand from Depop. The styling points of this dress is that it has a sailor style collar on the back with a little sort of red flower embroidery around the edges. This dress is not very form fitting, it's really flowy and light so it's perfect for summer. I feel like this would be the perfect dress to go on a picnic with as well. I feel like you'll blend into the picnic blanket but I think it's so cute. When I look at it I feel like it just screams picnic vibes. I did buy another red gingham dress however I feel like this one has a completely different feel because we have a round Peter Pan collar and we also have this mesh layer on the front which I feel like just makes it so much more pretty. We also have some red bows dotted around on the front, on the sleeves and also along the bottom. I bought this dress specifically in mind for a strawberry themed outfit and as you can see here I did buy this straw hat which has strawberries on as well that I pair with it. I feel like this is the perfect outfit to go strawberry picking in. Not only will you blend in completely with the strawberry feel but 
I feel like it's just so sweet. The last gingham dress I have is actually a black gingham dress. As you know, I never ever wear black things. Um, it's just not really in my colour palette because I always go for light colours and pastel colours. But I love this massive collar and obviously I love gingham. The fit is very similar to the long sleeve red gingham dress. It's not very form fitting, it's very flowy, airy, perfect for summer evenings. I also did buy another straw hat to go with this outfit. It's kind of just a plain lace one with a big bow at the back. Um, I bought it to go with this dress but I'm not quite sure if it works. Maybe if I had like a little basket bag or something um, and some wedges, I feel like it might tie into the outfit a little bit better. But going back to the dress, I am so shocked about how much I like it considering it is black. Okay, moving on to our last clothing item. This is most definitely the piece to resistance. It is my one and only pink gingham my melody baseball jacket if you have watched my most recent my melody haul then you have already seen this gorgeous baby but if you haven't here it is it is a gingham baseball jacket with white sleeves and has a huge white and pink sailor collar it has this massive my melody embroidery on the back this i think might be one of my most favorite purchases of all time i just feel like it can go with almost any outfit and just look so adorable I have worn this so many times already and I've received so many lovely compliments from people on the street. I feel like this is the sort of clothing item that if you were not acquainted with uh, Japanese culture, Japanese fashion or even Sanrio, I feel like everyone can enjoy it because it's just so, so gorgeous. Okay, moving on to shoes now, I have two new pairs of shoes. First of all, I will start with these huge, heavy pink shoes. These were from AliExpress and they are baby pink with a huge platform and kind of like an elasticated ballet style fastening. They have some cute white hearts on the front and oh my goodness, when I received these I did not realise how tall <laughs> they were going to be. I unpackaged them and I thought, oh no, I don't like them, they're too tall. But now that I've put them on and I've worn them around a bit, I think they're gorgeous, perfect for my personal style. The second pair of shoes that I bought are these white ones right here. Oh my gosh, these are my new favourite day-to-day shoe. I know you're probably looking at them and thinking, Eleanor, they're a little bit extra to be an everyday shoe, but what I mean is when I wear Japanese fashion on the daily, these are my new go-to shoes. They are so much lighter than the pink ones I just showed you, and also they are not as tall. They have this sort of scalloped edge detailing on the shoe and also on the strap around your ankle. I think these would be adorable if you were to switch the laces up for like little ribbons. I think that would look really, really pretty. Finally, moving on to the new bags that I have bought, I will start off with this adorable My Melody backpack. This again was featured in my most recent My Melody haul. I bought it from Artbox and um, I think she is meant to be a kid's backpack because the straps are really, really small and you can't fit a lot in her. So maybe I'll just use her for photos as a prop or maybe just put her on display in my room. The next bag I have is this gorgeous sort of warm toned pink fluffy bunny bag. I actually bought this from TK Maxx. It was in the kids section. It was only $14.99. It reminded me of that backpack that I see online a lot. It's very similar, however the one online is much more expensive and like half the size. So when I saw this one in TK Maxx I thought well I have to get it because compared to that one online that I've had my eye on for a long time, this is all round a better value for money. And also you can fit loads in there. This is just so cute, I love it so much. <laughs> The last and final bag that I'd like to show you is this cream satin love heart bag with a lace frill. I think it's very cute but because of the colours of the clothes that I have I don't really have a lot that kind of goes with it. These straps are a very nice length to put over your shoulder, it's very comfortable to use. Um, you can't fit a lot in there, I can only just about fit my purse and my phone but I think again it's a very cute one to use as a prop or uh, just for photos. So there we have it, that is everything that I have recently bought 
which is new in my wardrobe. Please be sure to tell me down below in the comment section which item that I've bought is your favourite. I really love hearing what you guys think about the things that I buy and hearing your opinion. Also, let me know if you would like to see a lookbook with some of these items. I have never done a lookbook before, so I'm a little bit nervous about doing one, but if you guys would really like to see how I style these pieces, then yep, feel free to let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Thank you so, so much for watching Little Buns and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> see you soon!